guys welcome back to another video so today's the last day in the car we're gonna return the car um, a few hours from now so we are currently at the place to pick up the license so that's the purpose of renting the car so we are at the place guys the issuer yes yeah, so we're gonna return the car and go on the road and you're gonna come with us so stay tuned don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Yes guys, so we are at one location. Today is like an errand day. Wake up very early. Early yesterday for go work and early today again. But today I know work it. Today is just errand day. So um going to the doctor's office in a few. Cause over here when, when you when you sign up for your doctor, them do some comprehensive checkup. This is a blood test, this is a urine test, pap smear, if you are a woman, this, that, that. So, I do some of the tests them already. But it's so easy though, like, I go to the doctor, say for example, I go to the doctor yesterday, I do all of the tests, they give me the paper, and I do the test them the same day. But I go to the doctor. So, you know, when you go, the only thing is that because of COVID, they know them not allow more than about 10 or so people in the place. So when you go inside, so you have a farm line outside as they now ram up the place. So I was outside in the line, long line, you know, for about nearly two hours. Come to decide, say, I'm not do this another day. So, do the test, I never pay no money, which is, I think is really good. You just present your health card and in Saskatchewan, the day, you can start the health card the day you land. So it's not like other province where you have to wait like three months or so. As you land, you can start applying for your health card. So once you have an address. So we did that and we get the health card and then no, you know you need a family doctor. So in order to get the family doctor, they are gonna recommend some tests that you do. So you can just say, you're sick, and you call a the doctor there and say hello, headache, cold, whatever and them attend to you. You have to um, register, something like that, register with them for them to be a family doctor. And when you register with them, they have their recommendations or stipulations as to the things that you should do in order to, in order for them to accept you basically as their patient. So we did the test, the tests as mentioned, this is a test, that they test, whatever, whatever. So today them some must come back for the one pop smear so you know say I forgot to do that with them and I will let you know if there's a fee associated with it which I don't there's a fee but I will let you know um, and then after that when they get the results you have to go back and that's it until you are sick again we were no one sickly family you know but you know you need to continue care at my you need for call on your doctor so we just do that because for me, I really can't count on my and the amount of time I go doctor in a year, like probably one time in a year or two times in a year we go doctor. But you know, the most important thing for me a dentist and gynecologist. Like, but doctor, I'm in a sicky sicky, just my sinus, and like if it's a drain, if it's well bad, um, the I just go there for antibiotics but if not I'll just buy some allergy something I'll work for myself. Anyway guys I feel like me I ramble too much. So see you all after the doctor's visit. Guys I just realized uh, the heat has turned up so high it had disturbed the video. Anyway I apologize for that. So guys I tell them I said I'm going to carry on my journey but me well left for today see the forecast you know and say I'm going to turn back for the umbrella and I'm never turn back for the umbrella because I'm going to in a vehicle hey anyway we return the vehicle and there comes the rain so we did a fee so I have to come back home Oh, I did a lucky for the bus today. So I'm going to come back home 
change my clothes, my shoes. Just because I did have my cracks on my toe, then did I freeze. Woo! So I'm change my shoes and get my umbrella. So right now me I got the doctor. For the drop off. Well not the doctor, the lab. For the drop off the test. Because they don't send it. You have to find the nearest one and send it. Say no my finger them. Not freeze but them cool. Let me make my cross already. Yeah, so This is the journey and a far me ago it's like five minutes walk yeah so this is the way to go to the lab i may tell you the lab there always full the last time ago i had to stand up in line with me tell me so nearly two hours made it after wait in line oh i'm so unfit Two, nearly two hours I have to wait in line one bag of butcher <laughs> to me a chat I not even realize of it <laughs> yeah so hopefully the rain will run them I'm going to see if them I'm going to see how determined them be today I can't go another day my, result, my test I forgot I have to drop off today so I could see over here so is the I live near to the theatre. Surprise them there. When I know where Matt's me now, where Eve's me. If I don't know, comment it down below. This is also bowling alley. Down this so. Yep. So. I'm like three minutes away from the lab. But here's some Chinese something. And here is, yes, I look like a one nice, like a chill spot. We need to come there one day, they have a pool inside. It's like a ball, you know ball? <laughs> it's like a bar. So it look like it's our vibe. I can visit one day, so. Go back outside. Anyway, folks, when I get there, I will show you the line. Hopefully, the line is not long because I do not plan to spend hours in the rain. I can't but I get sick because they look up with it. So yeah guys, later. Yes guys, about less than five people there in front of me. So, let's see if I can show them. Yeah. So about less than five people in front of me. So I should get through very quick. Yes guys, I'm finally home. Yes, my item look ready. Um, they never charge no money. Quick, quick time. I get you in uh, about 15 minutes time. Come back home. Guys, guess what? I got my salt fish and salted codfish. And as we call it in France, moru. So this is the salt fish. And it's juicy enough. Meaty. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me see. Yeah, so it's one pound. And I paid eleven dollars for one pound of salt fish how much for one pound of salt fish in a jamaica i don't even know but yeah this is the salt fish i'm so happy that i found it because i can now cook my little tin of aki i'm not even gonna get into how much my pay for the aki guys so yeah this is dinner for tonight hi guys good morning good afternoon good night the car them icy so guys so morning ago i came out um for work and i wanted to you know make a video talk to you people but when i came out wow people today it is minus six degrees did you see that just now people 
it's a touch of winter okay <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so terrified yep wanted to do a video but when i came out look at this I didn't realize that the road was blocked so because I didn't want to be late you know I'm just quickly run go find out where the bus stop the new bus stop is because the one that we're used to is now well yeah it's still blocked so I remember what I'm going to talk to them say <laughs> the persons who made video can you comment and let me know like you have this thing planned out what you're gonna say and then as soon as I take up the camera you can't remember anything <laughs> sure no one of me alone that happened too but yeah it's minus six it honestly doesn't feel that cold the only time it really feel cold I like when breeze are blow and the breeze not blow right now so it is honestly not that cold or maybe because my ears covered you know once your ears covered and certain place covered you kind of not feel the cold that much so um this is what the mall is looking like right now and i'm uh, gonna run over to dollarama to get a lunch kit it look like so i'm not gonna get a work from home job anytime soon so i might as well get that lunch bag from dollarama and now we are going into the canadian superstore Probably I can give you a clip of inside. So come with me. Yeah, so this is what inside is looking like. Um, purses don't like to be videoed. So I'm gonna try to show you around without capturing persons in the video clothing items that they sell up love 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 this jacket guys it's my first time seeing snowflake and look it looks exactly like the the snowflake emoji or whatever representation they have of it isn't that cool look at it so guys this is the state of the house now because the guys are coming over to actually they are already here to do some treatment some pesticide insecticide blah 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 we had to clear let's see if anything they not up on it yeah we had to clear out the cupboards for them all the drawers everything like that um, for them to come and I am gonna have to leave the house because they are gonna it's harmful and I cannot come back on uh, before five o'clock last time I come back four o'clock my could still too late but honestly I don't even know where to go because I don't work today and so I just I probably just go to the university get some work done for the whole day and then come back yeah guys I'm walking to catch the bus honestly I would so prefer to be home right now <laughs> I mean they really need some cleaning as in not cleaning but like um, pest control because the people them at the place they bad that's that's one of the thing that I the one of the things that I don't like with apartments. If you have nasty people on the apartment, you are gonna be affected by it. Them people here, them sometimes the apartment smells so bad. I have a call. I have a call the, the maintenance people. They must tell me. And cause I'm alone look like me I come, I'm alone I complain. I have to call them and tell them, let me check which part I have to take the bus. Yeah, I was on the wrong side of the road. Yes, yeah, so as I did I say, it looked like I me alone call them and I bother them. Because honestly, the roach 
and this and that like apparently the people them where did live there before us never keep the apartment so clean because they were going there would have to do one body of cleaning um so and then you could have see traces like these people don't keep the apartment clean so anyway now um we, we started to see like one and two roach in other place so me i say hmm this not look right so i saw we kill them and so we continue to say one and two not an infestation you know but like one and two so we report it and i saw them say they are going to come to the treatment and them treat the whole apartment the whole block so they did the treatment we saw like just one i think this was a month three two to three weeks ago i think this was three weeks ago we saw just one after the cleaning three weeks ago and uh, it was coming from the outside so when we got there and we started to clean up and we not leave the plates and we not leave out no food it's like them them start runway so we only start as like one and few but after the treatment we see just one one day get to get one we don't hope so we don't get no more treatment but i guess after that we're not going to see no more because we're not over them we're not leave out food we're not have things dirty in the place none of that because we ate them someday so i'm kind of glad but honestly the last time when them do the treatment my affi i did it on the road i did it because i went to do my checkup to get the doctor so I did it on the road that day, day but after that i finished like about one o'clock and i had to stay in kfc for like three hours before i could have go home and at five o'clock i'm supposed to go home i can't them say you're not supposed to go in before five o'clock but honestly i did it in a kfc till people must see i wonder <laughs> that girl yeah i initially leave so I end up just going 4 o'clock plus gas did take me up I nearly have one accident so I said mm -mm, can't take this no more so I end up go home and clean up and all of that but brother the clean up part of the worst because then we have to wipe down the things them and wipe down this and wipe down that anywho when I get to school I will catch y'all so yes guys I finished I'm halfway through my assignment so I decided to take a little break to you know have some food so over there they are giving away pumpkin not interested and here I'm warming up my food so it is basically This is basically a portion of the school. Guys, I really wanted to do a tour of the school, but honestly, after reading 50 pages, watching four videos, and still have 30 more pages to read, I don't think I can do it. I'm so beat, but I do promise you that I will come back here. I think I'm supposed to come back in two weeks. So when I come back, I'm going to do that video for you. But for now, I'm just tired I'm gonna have to go home clean out the house because you know they did the treatment read those 30 pages before I go to sleep and create my understanding of everything that I read and watched can you imagine all of that and then tomorrow is the next dilemma tomorrow is something similar to this also the next day but i don't think i'm gonna do this much in one day i might just stretch it across i might just stretch it across the entire week but i have two major assignments that will do in the same week and i don't want to leave those for the last moment that is why i'm cramming everything now so that i can have time to work at my own pace but let's see how it goes because i really want to be finished with this stuff anyway i'm just gonna give you a little tour from my seat before my bus comes because outside is zero degree I can't afford to let my bus leave me yeah so Tim Hortons they were doing their little selling earlier but they closed 
and right there is the student union that I go to get my free goodies free groceries and all of that and yeah so this is a little sneak peek guys <laughs> guys I took your advice to cover my neck because a lot of persons are saying cover your neck so my neck is covered so then can't stop cussing me off <laughs> so yep another early day on my way to work so yes guys it's minus six degrees this morning so I decided to cover up you know what I'm saying hey you guys happy Sunday today is our little Sunday evening stroll you know whenever both of us are off from work we always try to take our walk so that is just that by the way guys thank you so much for the recommendations for the meals they are doing great for us well for me start enjoying my food um like we're cooking different stuff lately so it's no more rice and peas and this and that and that we do cook that but we switch up things a little start to eat stuff that i never considered eating and i'm liking it so not because you don't see any videos with any meal and all of that i'm still cooking and i'm appreciating all the recommendations so keep them coming yeah and i also found a rice a good good rice that i enjoy rice that feel familiar i found and see me gonna stick with the rice it smell right it smell nice and it tastes nice so that is that you know I'm not going to go bag of talking when I walk because I'm so unfit and it's annoying <laughs> anyway this is what the place is looking like Anyway guys, if you do not see any more clip in this vlog, this is where it ends. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment the videos that you want to see. Like, share, subscribe. Bye! Guys, we ended up by the lake. So this is the view of the lake. This is what's happening right now.